Hello and happy Wednesday. Welcome to Tabata. We will get going in just a minute or so. Um, so feel free to grab some water, uh, get a mat set up if you have one, and then we will get going. If you haven't done Tabata before, we'll be doing that same format we've been working on um, over the last few weeks. So those Tabata sets are going to be 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and we'll repeat that eight times through for four minutes, and we'll do, er, yeah, eight times through for four minutes, and then we'll do four sets um, of those, followed by some core to get us going. So we'll go ahead, we'll get nice and warm, and then um, I will explain those exercises. I'll get the music on, and then the nice thing is the music will take us through um, and count for us kind of those reps and that timing. So my cat Charlie is clearly wanting to play too. His new favorite thing is to, you know, hang out here while we're doing Tabata. So go ahead, come all the way down, come into that low squat, and then stand if you can. Good. And again, just a few of these, waking up the body. You know, most of us are working from home, and my body needs a lot of extra TLC as it does that. Good. We'll do one more here. Again, we're just getting those movement patterns going, waking up that body. Good. Let's go ahead and just reach side to side. Oh, <laughs> popping and crackling as we warm up. I tell you guys, I feel like Charlie learned that he was uh, on film, and now he likes to make an appearance on it. On every video that we do, it's so fun. <laughs> do one more to each side. Good. And from here, we're just going to take a nice step out, hinge down, get those arms nice and wide, and up. Then switch to that other side, hinge down, sweeping up, opening. Good. Those hamstrings, those glutes. Again, just waking up that body. We'll do one more to each side. Last one here. Good, and get those legs nice and wide. We'll just lunge one side and then the other. As we lunge, we're pushing those hips, those glutes back to the back of the room. And whatever leg we're going to is going to go ahead and um, come into that 90 degree angle. The opposite leg stays nice and straight as we are there. Good, we'll do one more to each side. Last one here. And we're going to go ahead and do just a little bit of high knees, whatever that feels like for you, or you can march it just to get that heart rate going just a bit. We'll be here about 30 seconds before we get going with our workout today. And again, this is the warm up, so don't worry too much about how high those knees are going in four, three, two, and rest. Awesome, awesome job. All right, I'm going to go ahead and show us those first exercises. Starting out first, we're just going to be in a nice squat today. So we've been doing kind of some crazy variations today. We're going to stick a little bit more traditional. So we'll start with that squat. So again, it's going to be straight down and straight up. Nice and in control. If you want to add a little bit to it, you can come up onto those toes or you can add that hop. Again, if you are going to add your hop, I want you coming down to the floor nice and gently absorbing into the floor, not kind of smacking those feet, those joints as we come down. Then we're going to get in that low isometric squat hold and we're going to just do punches for 20 seconds. It's easiest if you pick a spot on there or on the screen and kind of use that as your target for each punch to keep it nice and consistent. Alrighty, like I said, that music will let us know when to go. It makes it nice for us. 
And then we'll get going. Squat variations to start. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Two, one. Here we go, so you down and up. Good, I'll show you a variety of those options again. Jump it out. Again, more quietly. Is it or do you squat? And come up onto those toes with that half. One. Rest. Rest. Three. Come on down. One. Punch it out. As we are here punching, that core is nice and tight. You feel the power coming from your legs. So core and those arms. Rest. All right, team, back to our squat. Three, two, one. Here we go. Good. And again, let's pick a variation. Don't feel like you have to skip with it the whole time. See how that body's feeling. You can always change it up each round or even mid 20 seconds. The goal is rest. The goal is to keep moving that whole time. All right, ISO squat punches. Here we go. Good. Can you get a little lower than you were last round? You got it, team. Three, two, one. Rest. Next up, okay. Turn on our hands here. Five. Ooh. Three. Watch. Two, here we go. One. Two minutes down. Two minutes to go. You one at a time, or you can come to those toes. If that is for any reason too intense on the shoulders, a little bit too much, you can just come up and hold, or you can go into those tricep dips and do those dips that we've done before. That's a little bit easier than kind of stabilizing one at a time. 
on those shoulders. Next up, we're gonna come into just an alternating reverse lunge. So you'll be here one side, and then the other. We've done this before, if you want, you can add that hop again. As we lunge, the core stays straight. It's like a elevator down and up. We're coming all the way down and back up, getting 90 degrees in each of those knees. All right. We got it, team. So those crab holes. All right, bring it up and hold. You cross that line. Cross. And again, you can always slow it down if you need. Good. Work on that knee. Lots of options for us here. Woo! Nice job. Rest. All right, stand on up. Alternating lunges. Here we go. Good. So you can pop those or you can step back one at a time. Whatever you prefer for those 20 seconds. One. Rest. All right, team. Back down. One minute down. Two, one. Grab toe touches. Alternate. Alternate. Oh. Check in with that forward. You can keep those hips high. As we're here. Nice work, team. Three. Two. Three. Mm. All right. Alternating. Your splendid here we go, team. Good. Again, feel free. Add that opening. Now, did you like? Two, one, rest. All right, two minutes down. Two minutes. Remain. Three. Two. Here we go. Work. Nice job, team. Three. Two. 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 Why it return? Do I have to remind myself of that too? So blasting out strong, smooth, more back into that core. Three, two, one. Yes. All right, team. One minute remains. One more deep exercise. Three, two, one. Here we go. Last 20 seconds here. Stay strong. Two, one, rest. All right, team. Alternating lunges. Coming up. Two. Here we go. 20 seconds. Nice job, team. All right. Next up, we are going to do our high knees side shuffle. So we did these a few weeks ago, and I always, I will preface, I always mess it up um, in the demo. So 
Essentially, it's going to be stepping side to side. So you'll be one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. With that leg always driving up. If you don't like that, you can always step it here. Again, driving that knee into the body, kind of making that upside down V using the power of your legs and arms there. Next up, we're going to go into our push-up. So we'll start in our nice prone plank. Let's see, make sure you can see it. Those legs are going to be nice and wide. And we're going to come up, up, down, down. And then we'll switch to that other side. You can always do the same thing from the knees as well. Our goal here is to stay strong through the core, through the glutes, through the legs, and kind of keep those hips from going side to side as we are there. All right, again, high knee, side shuffles. In 20 seconds, we're over halfway there. Yeah, you can also just walk it slow. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. Whatever makes you feel strong and successful in the movement, that's what we're going for. Good. Plank up. Good. Start in that nice prone plank. 20 seconds here. Rest. All right, back to tiny shuffle. Nice job, team. Stay with it. I know we're working that balance. We're working that coordination a bit today. You got it, though.
Nice work, team. All right, grab some water. Last set of Tabatas coming up today. We're gonna end with our jumping jack. So again, the traditional jumping jack is nice and big. You can also do it without that impact. Some people prefer jump roping over that jumping jack. That is fine as well. And then last but not least, we're just gonna go into our side lunges. I want you to stay on the ground this time. We're not gonna add that jump since we are jumping with that jumping jack, but I really want you to focus on nice, quick, explosive movement as we come back to the middle. And you'll see each time we lunge, that leg on the mat is gonna stay straight. That other knee is gonna do that hinging movement. All right, team, four more minutes of work before we head into our core, and then we will get going. Song choice is kind of, this song title is questionable. Sorry if it's a little weird. All right, jumping jack. Here we go. Good, again, just think 20 seconds at a time. All right, side lunge, here we I always forget. Put some memory over here. All right, so one leg stays on the mat. You're floating back to the middle each time. Good, so there should be almost that moment of weight lifting as you come back to the middle. Good, as we lunge, we want our knee to stay behind those toes. So really think about pushing those glutes back to the back of the room. Three, two, Woo! Oh, sorry about that. I took it through that rest. Two, one, rest. Whew. Off 
form work team. All right. Last but not least for our final two minutes of core. Again, it's going to be Tabata style. We're going to come in to a V-sit. It can look a lot of different ways. So you can keep your feet planted to the floor and just hinge back here. Get engaged in that core. You can lift one foot or both feet if you want. You can even extend those legs if you have that flexibility. After that, we're going to stay in. And you can also, for if you need any more support, you can always put the hands on the ground and take up those legs. Then from there, we're going to go into our Russian twist. So we're going to stay in that V-sit and tap side to side as we go. So again, 20, 10, but this time only two rounds through for those two minutes. All right, team, you got it. V-sit. 20 seconds at a time. Three, two, one. Work. Good. You can even tap a foot down. Lots of options with these ones. Good. If your core is shaky, that is a good thing. If you are engaging it. Woo! Two, one. And with those wrestling quits, you can keep the feet to the floor as well. Here we go. For the twist, I do not care how fast you do them. I want you to stay nice and upright. I want that form to look good. And I want you to feel that movement in this direction. Good. Woo! Rest. Rest. You'll often see those twists that kind of kick me. Not super great for that spine. Be nice and chill. One. Be fit. Here we go, team. Last minute. Woo! Stay where you are. I'm just gonna turn that music off so we can get a little stretch. Oh, awesome, awesome work today, team. Grab that right foot. I'm just gonna cross it over that left, sitting up nice and tall, working into the hips a bit. It's been such a challenge for me to sit more often in my day. I have a seating desk in my office and haven't quite figured that out here. So my hips need a lot of TLC these days. You can take that foot down to the floor. Actually back up. Switch sides. Sitting up again, nice and tall. Oof. Might notice one leg is substantially tighter than the other. That is always my case at least. And again, slowly move that down. You can take those legs, just give them a nice crisscross here. Are you gonna sit up nice and tall? Bring up the arms, grab that right or that right wrist, and just hinge to one side. Getting a nice Side body stretch. Good. And other side here. Sitting up nice and tall and hinging to the side. Good. Open up those arms nice and big. Come all the way up back, ear to shoulder. Good. 
take a nice deep breath all the way in and out and one more time nice deep breath all the way in and out awesome awesome work today team have a wonderful rest of your wednesday and believe it or not next monday when we meet it will be mad